Good morning, Chang Rai. We are going for our morning walk to get some breakfast, our morning coffee. You know how the day starts here. We always go get a coffee. Now I just don't know where I am. <laughs> Check out of our hotel around 11. It's probably about 10 now, so I'm probably running a bit late. I'd have to come back here if I don't find breakfast because I don't know where I am. So today, unfortunately, we have to go back to Chiang Mai. So we have a bus ride ahead. We have a long bus ride ahead. I think it's about four hours. There's so much street food here. It's amazing. It's really early. It's not even 10 o'clock. Okay, so as we're here, let's go. It was really hard finding a cafe that does like food as well as coffee. Like coffee, coffee places are everywhere in Thailand and I love it. But I need some, some a little snack in the morning too, you know? Okay, they didn't have food. Next one. <laughs> Which one it is on it? That's so cute. We're gonna drink this, get ready, head to the bus stop home. Well, this is it, our last walk through Chiang Rai. So we're just walking to the bus station now and then we're then we're gone. It was lovely. Okay, we have stopped at what seems to be a rest stop. It's 10 past two, so we've kind of been on the road in the bus for like two and a bit hours, two hours, 10 minutes. Honestly, my back, I have a back injury, is really sore. This bus is a lot harder to be in than the VIP one we came on on the way to Chiang Rai. The seats are a lot narrower, the footrest doesn't go up or anything. It's just an express bus, it's not a VIP bus. So I don't expect that, but it is a lot harder to sit on, especially for three and a half, four hours. So we're just at this rest stop. There's not much food, but there's a little shop with some groceries, um, a couple little packaged foods, some um, cold drinks. I just need to walk around to help my back. <laughs> and hopefully we're home in an hour or two, but I'm gonna see what there is. Milo? Milo. Yeah. Milo. Ice? Yes, please. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hello? I got ice Milo. Hello? <laughs> Is that okay? Yes. Thank you. Kapunka. Uh -huh. Thank you. Mm hmm Back on we go. Must be in the night bag. And we are off the bus and I'm so happy. Oh. Yeah. All right, now time to get back to our house. Yay. Hello, so we have walked all the way down. I don't normally get out of Nimam very often lately. So we've had a big walk down to sort of closer to the old city. Yesterday we got back from Chiang Rai and the bus back just hurt my back, I have a back injury. So I just took a little bit of a rest, but we're here, we're gonna do it. So we're gonna have a look for a couple of electronics. And apparently this is the place to go. So let's have a look. So this is a electronics store on Waikau Road. So we're just here having a look. Um, I need something to like, maybe something to prop my phone up so I can do like lives and stuff if you want me to guys to do a live. We are looking for some microphones today, but I'm gonna let you know about that in a couple of videos. Okay, so we didn't find anything in Power Buy, but let's try the first one of three computer pluses. <laughs> I see a Milo ice lady. <laughs> also, I learned how to say ice. There is a lot, a lot, a lot of cables here. <laughs> Oh, and GoPro holders and stuff. There's pretty much everything that you can think of. Milo? Milo. Nice. Uh, yen? Yeah. Two? Two. Yeah. Two, please. Kapunka. Kapunka. How many baht? Kapunka. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna keep going and drinking our Milo. I'm sweating. Like, it is so boiling hot. We're gonna go on to where we're we going now? 
the big computer plaza next door. Then another computer plaza. <laughs> and then behind computer plaza is an even bigger computer plaza. Okay, another computer plaza, then another computer plaza. Let's go. The taste test. <laughs> Look at me becoming a Milo ice expert. Computer plaza number 10. <laughs> the traditional computer plaza. The traditional. Like, oh. Like go for the last like 20 years. And then they've built the other ones. Okay. So apparently this one's sort of the biggest one. Um, and there's a lot of stores here, so we're just gonna have a look around. It was like handmade. How good do they feel? Ooh. <laughs> That's so satisfying. You, 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 the video. Yeah. Oh, whoops. I was just hold this. Okay, so I decided that I want to get a cord so I can use this camera that I use to vlog. Um, and record to go with live with rather than just like a webcam on my laptop or my phone or something um, just to get a better quality so now we're just going to find a cord that does that Done it. yeah so now I can go live on my camera not on the thing which would be a lot nicer for you to look at yeah so we're going to stop here and get a coffee at uh, Icon Park um, I think we're a bit early so this is a night, night park oh it's night a night spot. spot it's dead there's no one here so I remember I once came here years ago and went to that KFC and there was like it was pumping with people here drinking and carrying on. So what we might do now is just walk sort of more towards the the night market spot and just see if there's anything on the way or if there's anything there. We are going to go see the cowboy hat lady and if you watch YouTube about Thailand you will see that she is um, very well known and what she does she just makes um, food in a, a cowboy hat. It's like braised pork, braised pork leg. She's very famous, she's actually famous for two reasons rather than just YouTubers. If you know Anthony Bourdain, who's the best, like, he was a food food travel vlogger before food travel vlogging existed. He's the man, rest in peace. He came here on his show and that's kind of oh. what set her off. She got really famous from, from that. She's super famous in China. She's like massively famous in China, but that's what introduced her to like the Western world. Right. Western tourists. And then Mark Weins came there as well. Yeah, so now she has people just basically come and visit her. But she wears a cowboy hat now, which is why she's a cowboy hat lady, well, right? Well, I've heard that she's hung the cowboy hat up. No! And that someone else runs her shop now, but it's still the same food. And she's, oh. and she's, reti and she's retired and that someone else I didn't know that! Shop. Okay, so we're almost here at the Northgate Street Food. It was a big long walk. We've walked for a long time. But we're almost here and looking for some food. Let's have a look. Not, not ready yet. This is on every night, but we are now. This is on every night. Okay, so she's, we found it, but she's not actually, like the cowboy hat lady isn't actually there. So we're going to leave it this time, but then we're gonna come back when it's night time and see if she's here or not. Um, we're just like right opening right now. Cause it, yeah, they're only just literally opening, if not, not opened yet. So we'll come back at a bit of time, I reckon. That didn't go to plan, but that's okay. <laughs> Happens sometimes, you know? Guys, there's heaps of stuff here. I think we might actually come here for like dinner, just ride the bike down and grab something. Nice. So we haven't actually like wandered outside of Niman yet. Like we've caught grabs or like rode out here and did one thing or went to one market and then went home. We haven't like actually like wandered around the city yet. Just aimlessly walked around the city. If this is still the old city? We're outside of, we're outside of the old city. Okay. The old city's behind us. We're on our way sort of, this is like the main road out of the city, but it's very busy here. Yeah, it is super busy. We haven't really just like explored yet or just walked got... around like so it's super interesting here like the it's just interesting it's so different in Iman and I think that's the thing that I want to do more before we go is sort of go to the old city more and but it's beautiful here and it's beautiful there so it's really nice like it, it's just so different different vibe, different vibe. heaps different vibe uh, I'm kind of liking just exploring a different part like it is a lot different to where we are I guess where we are is mostly meant to be touristy right so this is cool. Okay, so we're here at Siriwatana Market in Santanam, also known as Tanin Market, Michael just told me. I haven't been here before, but it's a massive fresh food, fresh veggie kind of market. Michael said that he's come here quite a few times when he used to stay here in Thailand before. We've walked a long way to get here, <laughs> so hopefully we can get some good snacks. And let's go have a look. I 
said yen. Yen means ice. <laughs> 40 baht. Four? Four sip. No, 40 baht for a. Oh, 40 baht for an iced espresso. <laughs> What's half? Five? Five, yeah. What's sip? Six? No, one or ten? Oh, it's the ten part, yeah. right. So, ha sip ha will be. 155. One. 55, so a dollar 50 or No, 155. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited, I need a coffee, I'm fading away. Looks good. Thank you. I feel good with a coffee now. Oh. Oh no, Mark. <laughs> I think that's for food, but that's okay. It's for anything delicious. Okay, good. But they'll probably think you're weird for thinking coffee's delicious, because to them it's just like a utility. <laughs> True. Coffee is delicious. More fruit. More melon. Um, this one? Okay. Mm. Cup and cup. Cup Let's try this stick. What did you get? No idea. You don't know? Okay, cool. I think they're both beef. I think they're like the usual milk or honey glaze, but who knows? Okay, so one's dark or light. Which one should I try? Just try them both, maybe. Ten baht each? Yeah, ten baht each. I like that's pork. Um, it's a tad spicy actually. Like you have a espresso yen. I'll finish the spicy one for you. It's pretty good though. Cool. Like a sweet chili or something glaze. This one's like a lighter in color. Hmm. Also good. This one's more like honey. The other one was like sweet chili-ish. Hmm. Mm hmm. All right, let's. I need. I think I really want some more watermelon. I want to try other things, but I feel like I just want to. I really something fresh. Like I, when I tell you it's hot here, it is hot, <clears> and we just walked probably for like an hour or more to get the here. The hottest day we've had so far. It's in, the yeah. In Thailand, it's probably the hottest day we've had so far in Thailand. So I am stinking hot, and I want something like refreshing. So let's try and find some watermelon. It's hot. Yeah. Not really. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I mean, everyone's That's what I. It's really hot. <laughs> I know I've said we that a million a times, but we need a drink. Oh, I'm stuck. Drinking some fruit, and we'll head home. I think. Yeah, I think so. Thank you, Papunka. Oh, it's so big. Look, it's a massive cup. Oh, Papunka. Thank you. Please, Papunka. So we just kind of like we're walking and found this place so we're not really very prepared um, but there's so much here to get and all we really brought with us was enough money to get like some watermelon and a coffee and stuff so we're gonna go get some donuts or this uh you want me to get them uh oh because it's different it's a little bit uh sweet oh yeah oh. We'll mix them yeah mix for sure please, yep. yeah yes Thank Thank you. You. so it was 10 baht for three we got six for 20 bucks. What are, are they actually called Patongo? No, they just don't. They just don't ask. All right, let's have a look. Can't really, hold on. Really, do, so it's not like a normal donut. Like at home in Australia, donuts would be like iced or. Yeah. Try the sweet one and the sweet one mm. too. The mixture. So she said this one was um, a little bit more sweet. So, ooh. Okay, they are sweeter. They've got like some kind of like. Yeah. It's not a sauce. It's still just some. Um, pastry but it's got like a sweetness to it <laughs> you like the elephant trunk i just kind of realized that you're meant to probably come with some sauce and i don't think we got the sauce pandem. there was pandem sauce and condensed milk sauce so that's our fault that they're a bit dry <laughs> well that was really unexpected just wa walking along all day all afternoon at least and then coming across a really cool market like that i wish we came a little bit earlier it seemed like everyone was sort of packing up but it might be something to do before we leave it's really cool to be back from chiang rai if you watch my last vlogs Go have a look at them. I'll leave one of them up there or something, but go have a look at the last couple of vlogs. We're in Chiang Rai and we went through some coffee plantations. We went to a tea plantation. We went to the hill tribes, but it's good to be back. We had an amazing time there, but I love Chiang Mai and I love being in Chiang Mai. Make sure you like and subscribe. It helps me grow my channel. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. So that would be amazing if you could help me out by subscribing and liking this video. Make sure to stick around and see the next ones and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Please make up my room. I'm leaving. More of the market. And try and also. Oh, that scared me. What's it called? Sira. Sira Watana. Siri Watana. Siri Watana.
the Siriwatana. Siriwatara? Siriwatana. Siri Siriwatana. 